Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising monthly tarot reading for September 2018 before we start, in case you are interested in a private reading with me uh, everything that you need to know about it, which is my website really it's uh, written down below in the description of uh, this video and there is as well a, a summer end sale going on which adds 10 minutes on the top of the 30 minutes sale so that being said going to the spread which is going to be a seven card spread for the month let me cut the cards here now the first position that we do have is going to show us the circumstances from the past which are influencing your month the second position here represents or it is standing for the month itself then we do have intentions or what you can go for should you choose to however a situational card then is uh, the best possible course of action toward the situation here followed by the attitude of the people involved into your situations sixth card will stand for the challenges that has to be taken on and the last card it is standing for the um, <clears throat> final outcome or what will be the result of all that so let's see what you do have here Capricorn so past circumstances influencing your month now the first thing that came to my mind turning over the ten of wands promise so a promise has to be uh, fulfilled that you have gave into someone or you have initiated a certain uh, deed so uh, it does it, and it will sit like a burden all right probably you will ask yourself why you had to take on that undertaking or why you have you have to you had to promise such a thing as uh, the month of september probably is going to be a a very overwhelming month from a sense of activity it could be job related or it could be relationship related but that particular undertaking or a promise that you have gave um, <clears throat> that you have given in uh, in the past will seriously be like a uh, wheel stone upon your neck pushing you uh, pulling you down and it will be a uh, very overburdening so the ten of wands uh, it's about uh, how can I place it it's about following a certain rules rules that have been established there and you have to follow those rules not without your contribution what I mean is that you have made some actions in order to find yourself into that certain um, situation so as much as I don't want to say it guys I mean if you find yourself in a very um, stiff situation here in a very um, uncomfortable one uh, well you cannot blame anybody else but yourself because you had agreed to those terms to those circumstances here and now they are taking place so maybe next time you will be uh, more careful what you are promised what you are saying to people because that card could also stands for uh, fulfilling one's word so you have said something and now you have to do it all right and as well you will be more careful what you are involving yourself in because that card also could stay for a, an enterprise you have involved yourself in which right now demands your attention demands your attitude and you cannot simply walk away so you have to bring it to its very end but the very least this card points that in reward for your devotion you will obtain a certain authority and you will obtain a, a certain power so at least at the end you will receive a, a recognition so what the bottom line is, is that um, you want it to fill, to fill up your basket and the basket becomes so heavy that it is a burden for you to carry it on further into the future 
and what will be the topic for you we do have the devil card so now we can understand by the way the devil card is very frequent in these readings monthly readings especially for the topic so now we could see that you do have an opening finally to chase a certain goal of yours or a certain yearning of yours and it will be a, a burden here from the past circumstances because they are kind of uh, filling up your time and are consuming uh, and are consuming a large portion of your resources which is depriving you to uh, chase your goal here that will be given to you to chase uh, you know in a full capacity but um, you should not blame yourself for it you know because you could not kind of like uh, foresee that now you will have that particular opening for some is to be um, is to uh, open a private business you know for others is going to be um, a certain enterprises into their relationship that suddenly their partner is agreed to do so but you have scheduled other things you know regarding your relationship for example this is how these couple of cards could stand here the bottom line is that this uh, particular month Finally, uh, you will be able to um, kind of step over and take control over, should I say it that way. Well, in some particular cases for you Capricorns, you have to be a little bit more demanding, you have to be a little bit more pushy and more um, unyielding with your standpoint, you know, with your words as well and with your actions should I say that way so the people should not see see you as a soft and milder person with uh, a person with soft and milder personality but rather a person who knows what they're talking about who knows what they're what is standing for and who knows what one wants <clears throat> now um, the most negative impact of that card is that you may feel oppression from uh, someone that you are depending on like supervisors, bosses or um, a person that it is involved into your relationship for example the mother of your of your wife you know here in Bulgaria we do have uh, numerous sentences about that but the worst but the one is that the worst nightmare to the husband is the uh, is the mother of his wife that is the worst enemy of the marriage so this is what we do believe here so yeah that will be regarding if you do have a troubles uh, into your relationship displayed by the devil card here capricorns that will be someone who is not your partner but your partner does depend on them or kind of like they're tightly connected with that person and from there it is where the problems and the predicaments in your relationship will arise now the uh, things you can go for here things that can be accomplished this is the wheel of fortune and uh, when we do have that card as a uh, opportunities or things you can go for it does speaks that you can utilize on the openings which are given to you and you will have those openings but now we're talking about the efficiency of time as we said here that you already have a lot to do from the previous month you know to be traversed into that one on top of that you have an opening here to chase something that you do really want you know either relationship career etc and on top of that <clears throat> here with the wheel of fortune there will be a circumstances happening which are very favorable for you to nurture already ongoing undertakings that are non-related to the ten of wands so that is an additional activity that you can capitalize on so for what it seems as I said this is going to be hell of a, a crazy month for you and which one you have to focus on here well I would say you need to focus on that one that you really wanted until this now until this very moment so probably this um, this undertaking here it is a, a one that you didn't even dare to dream of until this very moment and now in the month of uh, September you have an opening for it so uh, because I do know a, a Capricorn who used to work in the film industry now that Capricorn isn't working in that industry but maybe in the month of September uh, this dream of that Capricorn will become true although they have already started something else to work on they do sign the contract and they have to stick to it
simultaneously with probably taking on the uh, film industry um, opportunity and on top of that they will have another opening that they have talked about with different people you know um, to do so as well so it's kind of as I said you will be able to fill up your basket uh, of fortune so much that it will be very difficult for you to carry on so you know wealth uh, or kind of like opportunities are a good thing when you are narrow them down to useful opportunities when there are way too many then you do have uh, that particular contradictory here that the right of choosing is a is a fantastic thing only if you can't choose something but you will have so many that you will be baffled here to choose which one of them should be uh, the one that you have to chase because the devil card also sometimes stands for reluctancy of choosing because one is very afraid not to make a wrong choice therefore one doesn't make a choice at all but one sits on one place and this is something you should not do by any means any means just toss a coin flip a flip a dice if you have to just just do something all right then we do have the best possible approach toward the situation that is the five of pentacles saying that you are not alone in this especially in this here that burden that you are carrying from the month of july so you definitely can find a helping hand especially from the arising uh, difficulties that are arising on a multiple fronts and uh, these difficulties will be very small you know but um, but uh, just to compensate that there will be many of them uh, and these difficulties are something uh, something very ordinary here you know I mean every enterprise and undertaking has its ups and downs and nothing goes without having a, a challenge in it or something that to be resolved just in your case here Capricorns for the duration of September you will have a lot uh, many things to resolve although these things are going to be quite petite but they will be quite many as well so that's why it is why you need to kind of like ask for help and on the more profound meaning of the uh, five of pentacles then you need to kind of like consolidate your current positions that you know that are a hundred percent yours at this very moment um, <clears throat> So you can create something like a checkpoint, something like a milestone and from there, you know, take advantage of one of these cards or maybe if you are very fortunate and lucky, you can capitalize on all that, you know, on all these opportunities coming in your way. <clears throat> but that will be, as I said, highly situational because this, because the Wheel of Fortune sits for a highly situational card in that particular reading and if fit. Uh, kind of refers to your career then you can expect to stay late to uh, to work late you know and to not have much time for your relationship it should you go for uh, this hyperactivity and if it is about your relationship as well well you can expect that you have to take some time off from your work so you can attend to your relationship you know etc etc but as I said you can totally neglect the wheel of fortune and just go for the one narrowed uh, yearning that your heart desire and just follow it right by using the help of someone that is in a similar situation of yours the attitude of the people around you now we do have the page of pentacles and this concerns only your friends that card points that your friends uh, will support you entirely through your development here as the page of pentacles sits on top of that it does look like that they will try to help you in a certain way by at least you know uh, how can I place it by at least trying to make your time much more easy with uh, with the small predicaments every relationship has uh, I, I hope that this does make sense to you but just to give you an example of that they will not cause unnecessary dramas you know they will kind of like approach you with understanding if you uh, if you have something to share with them as a poignant experience from the past just to lay down your soul you know so they are going to be a good listeners as well not to mention that they will be uh, very supportive regarding a, a meaningful conversation here how to 
approach a, a certain situation. So it does look like that you can really rely and count on for the duration of September on a um, loyal friends maybe a couple of them or if you're fortunate to have a wide social circle maybe a bunch of them you know but the thing with the page of uh, with the page of pentacles is that you have to you need to have the patience to listen because these people they usually start uh, are starting the team and the topic from a uh, quite afar you know and it's kind of like it, it, at some point it becomes boring to hear to listen to them and as you know the two Cap capricorns are uh, stand more for talkers than listeners listeners uh, that will be uh, I think quite of a challenge here to, to this to just you know open your ears and instead of doing the speech just listen this time around all right because these people these uh, good friends of yours they they kind of have a grasp upon your situation even if they aren't involved directly into it and for some reason they know what is best for you here. I mean, they are thinking for your personal interest having that page because look at it. It's kind of like that page is nurturing your uh, your position of wealth here because they know that through your wealth, they will be in a good spot as well because obviously, or maybe you Capricorns are someone who uh, always rewards uh, kindness and you don't forget those who supported you in a tough time and the only tough time that you will have it will be here and the right of choosing as i said this is the hard time to choose the most profitable one opportunities that it is coming in your way so let's see the challenges here that will be uh, the king of pentacles and highly related here to the five of pentacles as i said the milestone so the king of pentacles stands for that to establish the milestone and it is that milestone and it, to establish that milestone it will require time and as we said the time it will be from the essence here the king of pentacles stands for um, securing your investments all right it does stands for um completing a, a current undertakings before you actually start the uh the one that is truly meaningful for you so uh what we can pull out from that card is that you first have to complete your uh your bidding here with the ten of wands the promise you gave the uh, enterprise you have initiated in the month of July. So first finish your current undertakings that you are stepping with in the month of, uh, of September. And when everything is settled down, I mean, when, when everything is settled down, then you can attend to the yearnings of your soul, you know, to what, to where your hunger lies. Because the devil, as I said, sits for insatiable hunger to have something or to accomplish something. And in order to fulfill that hunger, first you have to lift down the heavy burden that you are carrying here in the month of September or that you are stepping with in the month of September. This is what the King of Pentacles here st sits for, being difficult, you know, to hold um, <clears throat> to hold your horses upon this uh, uh, upon this yearning here, and first focus on the chores and then on the pleasure. And the last one stands for how you're gonna wrap up the month here. Four of Pentacles. It does look like that you're gonna sort everything out, you know. You will establish your patterns, you will establish your domain. It does look like it as well with that goes as well. A, a comfort zone is that you're gonna place in. And in general, you're going to sort out everything into a, a solid plan so whatever what happens here capricorns at the end uh this card does not only promise you that um <clears throat> How can I place it? You will sit in a very comfortable position regarding your career or regarding your relationship as well, being able to sort out the heavy burden here, being able to finalize it, 
probably with a great success afterward chasing the yearning of your soul here capitalizing on it as well maybe some of you will take advantage of the additional you know openings of the faith that it is given to you utilizing the help of the people which are there who are supporting your agenda being able to reach a, a milestone here securing your current undertakings not allowing them to uh, fall into ruin while you are chasing the yearning here that you do have which is going to be uh, singular for every single one of you guys one of you wants love other wants money and by the way money is what you are going to have should you go for it here <clears throat> But at the end, you're going to feel really proud that you have built a, a very, very stable, at least short term future for yourself. What is going to be the long term one? Well, that depends on the performance of the month of October, maybe November as well. But at least for now, Capricorns, you will be able to secure yourself, your family. You will be able to provide. So that being said... This was your monthly tarot reading Capricorns for September 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you are interested in a private reading with me again, everything that you need to know about it, which is my website, is written down below in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.